2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to be... Sports in association with the PGA Tour is delighted their focus for today. Well, with such a small lead, Luke, I think that they need to produce something solid. The small leads are no fun. I mean, you're out in the lead and you're excited about that, but it can be lost so quickly if they're not careful. One bad, one bad decision could get for them. Well, there's so much excitement and anticipation in the air to see how it plays out. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. You liked that, didn't you? Playing this shot from 120 yards. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. He has this putt to save his par. This one's looking good. They're nicely holed. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. Currently six under for the event. This one's looking good. That's nicely done from around 180 yards out. Going with the seven. Well, that's a handy shot. Let's take another look at Tiger from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Well, that's an early statement right there. Fantastic start right out of the gate. He's currently sitting in first place. Teeing off now on this par three.
anything in five feet to be handy from here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Three feet to go here to the hole. This one started out on a good line. Currently at seven under for the tournament. Teeing off here at the fourth. This is full send. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Opting for the three wood. Oh, that's a great approach shot. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. That's a great putt, and an eagle as well. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Oh, terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hole it? And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Well, they'll be looking to use that momentum they generated on the last with an eagle. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. A driver, but from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. Oh, will this one hang on and find the fairway, or is it headed towards the rough? And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. And choosing the eight iron here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, good shot that. Right inside the range. And now over to Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. That's inside the range. That looked good the entire way, Luke. That shot was dialed in. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Looking good so far. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. That is definitely a confidence builder. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that.
This hole is a par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Opting for the nine iron. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Solid little par putt here. Looks good. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Here's Justin Rose. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's return to live play now. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And coming up well short. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. Great touch. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Leading by six strokes after that one. We've reached the eighth hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here.
A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. And 11 under in front of the player with this putt. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. And if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, this one just swerving the green to the right hand side. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Absolutely. Love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. Fantastic play so far. Setting this up for the eagle. That'll sting a bit. This putt coming up is for birdie. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. He was on a good line. So close to the eagle. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Oh, I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. A thing of beauty. Second shot here at the tenth. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play.
trying to move to 13 deep here with this putt. He's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And now over to Justin Rose. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was spectacular, Luke. Great work. Great shot. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Well played, mate. This one from about 160 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Playing within their comfort zone there. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. by the hole yeah that looked to be a bit of a misread yeah, it's just about three feet away this is what they have left for par I like the look of this and staying right where they were in today's rankings after that now teeing off on the 12th hole Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker.
going with the hybrid. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, what happened there? Looking for the draw, but not finding it. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Oh, you know you want to. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And now that finds him in first place. And now teeing off on this par four hole. What a drive, look at that. Second shot here on the 13th hole. This is beautiful to watch. And now over to Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Looking really good. And back to the course with the live action. All these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet. Looking for another birdie here. Yep, tracking well. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Currently 15 under par for the event. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. And a great opportunity to build on that momentum. It's a decent fair way to hit this one. Not sure if they'll... F now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. It's a decent fair way to hit this one. Not sure if they'll... F Now on the... Oh, well done. Right, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle.
Ouch, that hurts. Oh, how good was that? Almost an eagle. Just a short putt remaining here. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. to be going with the six iron needs this to kick a bit left yep he's putting Rosie's nosy out of joint with that one that was an incredible approach putting for birdie here So close. And this putt coming up for his par. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. My God! And this is why you gotta keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Time to face a par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And he's safely on the green. This is an opportunity now to move to 17 under par. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Looking really good. Oh, sensational putt that one. A big play at the right time. And their rival is now shaking in their boots. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty.
leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. This is a short par four, always a fun hole to play. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 17th. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Well, nicely done. Holds the punt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I'm pretty well, this play will be buoyed. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Well, nicely done. Holds the punt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I'm pretty well, this play will be buoyed. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Oh, Dr. Chapinski. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to... 25 yards. Going with the six iron here. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. And here we are with the third shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Let's see if we can make this. Keep the par on the card. 